Let's go. Time to grind, get inside your mind Yeah, we working overtime, that's the only way to climb We gon' make it in our prime, signing on the dotted line Cashing checks left and right, that's the way I'm living life uh, I feel alive when I got a goal in sight Chip away, I gotta fight, ain't nobody else in sight Man, I think I see the light, yeah, that shit is so bright Follow me, I got the guide, see you on the other side, son Ain't nobody know what I'm been Nobody know what I can do I'm ready to go into battle I'll put on a show, razzle dazzle I'm about to take off Never gonna stop till I'm chilling at the top yeah. Oh, I'm about to take off Never gonna stop till I'm chilling at the top yeah. So get out my way, I'm here to stay You can try another yeah, Feeling Tyler? Good stuff. Uh, how, how's, how's, how's the deadlifts feeling today? My back's feeling all right, but the hands are here, holding up pretty good. So. That's what's up. That's good news. That's so, good news. so what's on the workout today, though? Because I know, you know what I'm saying, we're doing deadlift, you feel me, but what's on the workout today? Uh, we got a top set of uh, 565 for double. Yes, sir. Because I work with every breath. Man, I love the taste of sweat. I won't have any regrets. Uh. They get upset when they trying just to rest And I'm still right at my desk Make them all feel so pressed Yeah, but that's the test If you want uh, When you're high bar squat, mostly you're focused on your quad But when you're low bar squat, it's more hamstring, glute I mean, you can say your back, but it's mostly hamstring So what's the difference between the two, like, you know what I'm saying, and like power-wise? Technically, on low bar squat, you're supposed to squat more uh -huh. Because you're actually using more muscle groups But a high bar squat is more focused on like body tone kind of standard Because you're like, just hitting one muscle I mean, you are hitting your other muscles, but it's mostly focused on the front. Uh, so it's like mainly on your back posterior chain and not just all on your front. Yeah. Anyways, so on the topic of accessories today. So we got uh, some hanging leg curls. I got hamstring curls. I got uh, hanging leg raises, and we got some boss squats. And then yes. some leg press. Yes, sir. Hitting legs hella today, but you're also getting some core in and some back in with the deadlift. Getting a whole posterior chain. Posterior chain. For the people, what is the posterior chain? It's mostly like down here where their glutes are, or hamstrings. Yes, sir. I mean, some people call it quad, but I really don't. It's mostly like the lower back right here, and then the hamstrings. Yes, sir. I never slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play toss and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love. For the fakeness, if you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. Tyler, what workout helped you most to grow your deadlifts? Honestly, probably anything related to back, like back raises mm -hmm. with the machine, or like weighted back raises, or either like machines that like. My lower back out a lot. Yeah. Mostly hamstring and stuff like that. Really yes, sir. Make sure your grip's good too, because that's the most important. Yeah, grip so that you can grip onto this bar and not lose the weight. Delirious, mysterious, because you are behind the fake exterior, inferior. You know I'll always be a bit superior. Get off of me. This ain't no humble brag. I want you to hear words you can say. So, Tyler, you're going back down sets? That um, second set, we got one more set. And tell me about your, your CNS, I think you said. One thing about hitting your top set and then going back down to lighter weight is that your CNS thinks you're still doing that same weight. So it puts that same amount of effort in there. So it makes the, each rep harder until your body kind of gets used to it and gets back. But it's a good way to improve mental and uh, physical strength. Yes, sir. So basically what he's trying to say, if you didn't understand, is if you hit like a 565, and you go down to about like a 525, your, your CNS is still going to think you're doing that 565. Yeah, your body's going to think it initially, and then once you do it a little bit, it'll get used to it. But right off the bat, it's like it's shocking to your body. It thinks you're doing the same way. Yes, sir. Something that is typical. Rub it on and watch it go. Make yourself unstoppable. Dreams are irresponsible, but they're always possible. If you just believe, you could be so remarkable. Thoughts in my head, a collage and they spread. I'll be great one day, going off of my meds. No, I'm not giving up. No, I'm not giving in. I will make it to the top, taking off in the wind. I gotta make it. I got a question. So how does deadlift affect every powerlifting lift? I feel like when everybody trains for powerlifting, 
you either got you got always one lift that lacks behind. And I feel like deadlift is good, like both squat and deadlift are kinda like good together. But honestly, if you're doing really good on deadlift, you're probably gonna lack in squat. You, you gotta choose one over the other because you're gonna be fatigued after like let's say I'm squatting and I wanna go to deadlift. I could just squat like two days ago, and I could definitely tell I'm still sore from heavy squatting. So. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up and make a statement. I don't ever slow up, no, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll always show up. Last time, let's live for something I can feel my blood, it's rushing This ain't goodbye, we'll be back someday And we will find our own way Take control of our fate And like a car with no brakes Crash and run, make mistakes Is that for the camera? What should I do my paw squats without a belt? So without the belt, what does that do for you in a sense? So you want to practice on bracing because if you don't brace, obviously a lot of things can happen like that. Yeah, and then like the belt is what helps you brace. So you want to, you know, put That's that like movement, put that brace, yeah. Uh, against something, so it's like, it's just more solid. And you feel more confident when you in the bottom of the squat. So. so with low bar squat, you still have to, you know what I'm saying, stretch out your upper body because why? Because to get under the bar, you get that shoulder mobility, so you get in the right position because honestly, your shoulders are reaching way back to keep that bar mm -hmm. back. So you gotta just you gotta stretch out that whole that yeah, whole thing. I know I stretch out my front deal, and then sometimes I get my lats because my lats get tight from wrenching and stuff like that. But uh, doing no stretch. Yeah, because it's know. like your shoulder has to reach all the way back rather than it sitting up on your your trap, your high trap. Yeah, so instead of low bar, low bar is sitting on your delt. Mm -hmm, sitting on your delt, and then the high bar, bar sitting bar on your trap. trap. I see. So right now you're doing pause squats. What does that really like do for you and like your squat? Really what it actually is really meant to do is it helps you out of the hole. You're at the bottom of the squat. And we'll be back one day.